Hello and welcome again to another episode on Viva Enthusiasts. Once again, I want to shout out a big hello and big welcome to my fellow cigar aficionados, connoisseurs and of course enthusiasts. And today friends, we have a great matchup. We will be sampling a big question that I have between a Marsa and its two cigars. The cigar in question is the Trinidad Reyes and what it comes up against is the Trinidad Shorts. Now I know some of you may think this is a silly comparison. However, however, I've done this test three times already this year. This will make it the fourth. I've actually originally videoed it before, um, but I thought it'd be better to do it now and um, to do another one. And um, I always wanted to question the value of the Reyes against the value of the Trinidad Shorts. Now, another thing I wanted to allude to why I've decided to do this a bit later is because the conditions of the humidor is really for me in its absolute peak. Um, every time I did try these, you know, the conditions were a lot more different. It was a lot more warmer, of course. Humidity was a little bit higher than I, um, you know, ideally would want it right now. The humidor was sitting around 60, between 65 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit which is around let's say 16 to 18 uh, degrees Celsius uh, maybe 19 max but really between 16 and 18 degrees Celsius and the humidity is perfect where I want it to be right now between 63% and 66% relative humidity that is where I really want it to be perfect right now anything lower around at 63 to 65 it's just it's in perfect conditions right now um, whereas before when it was a bit warmer and stuff it was a little bit higher from 66 around 67 um you know it would float around from about 65 to 67 so it was a little bit more higher um but now it's in just absolute perfect zone so there really can't be any excuse for both of these to really not perform now one of them of course uh, should, I'm hoping to perform and the reason why I'm saying that is because I've done this test already the three times already and all three times I've come out with the same result so it'll be interesting today to see if we get another repeat result or if it changes um, and if it changes how has it changed and what's the difference between that change and to start off we kick off with the Trinidad de Reyes Reyes is a 4 and 3 8 inch by 40 ring gauge Petit Corona and as you can see it has a lovely a lovely twisted pigtail cap this was a 2004 release which comes in a varnish semi water boxes of 12 and 24 which follows the traditional Trinidad's Trinidad's way. It also did previously come in a 25 cardboard pack of five which was discontinued in 2017. Now this cigar and blend is so is said to be similar or the same as the Trinidad Fundadores. The Fundadores as we know shares the same 40 ring gauge and is said to be the same smoke as the Fundadores but in a shorter format for those that have less time. Now, Seagars retail this at £15.49 for single, which is £21. £183 rounded up for 12, which is £247. Or £350 for a 24, which is rounded up to £472. There we go. Wow. Ooh. Shortbread butter cake. Madeira cake. That 
peppers, man, is um paprika. Lovely sweet paprika. It's like it's weird, but it's like sweet pepper paprika with um lovely short butter cake breads. Madeira cake. Output is phenomenal. Ground black pepper's just come into the mist as well now. Let's just get annoyed right now. Mm. Now, rares do have a good opening, they always do. How is that pepper starting to kick back now? That ground pepper. That's really kicked back now to the throat. Give you a bit of a punchy arm. Uh, Feel in the mouth, in the throat, and the mouth. It did have that creamy sort of vegetable cue and twang, but it was very quick. It, it it instantly went. It wasn't. It didn't linger at all. It just sort of came and then went as it went from delivery to try to retro. That pepper is strong. That's a strong pepper. I don't remember any of the other ones I've had. With the pepper so strong. This is why I say about having humans in that bit more of a cooler, cooler climate, you know, around those 62s, 63s. Sometimes it just comes out nice. I mean, I told you I have my Cohibas. All of my Cohibas buying one Cohiba now. Um, is separate to the rest. You know, all of my Cubans are on 65s, my Cohibas are all on 62s. They're all on 62s, and uh, temperature is same wise, but the uh, humidity is a little bit less around 62 to 64. Um, that's what that keeps up at the moment. And it's, I think when I get to sample some of those cubes, I think that would, that's, that would, that'll be a sweet spot to keep. I think. So the flavour blend, I think it might just probably need to be a bit more cooler, but I'll see when I'll try them out. But mm, it's gone a light. Wow. Was it? It's a bit tight in there. It has got a lovely. Dark Corolla wrapper, so it's chocolatey. Don't get too much smells, but um, it's a logo start, so we'll come a little bit later and I'll let you know how we get on. Ashes actually had a really bad burn, but now it's uh, fixed itself up quite nicely. So good, ash is good. But after that fantastic opening, the race has gone how the race has always gone for me boring, just earthy. No sweet butter cake. Earth. Earth. It's actually bitter now. That hand on the tongue on the bottom of my lips as on the top lip. It's very bittery. I hope it is good considering it's still holding the ash. But this is my problem with the Reyes. They just go muted. Just got earthy. The other ones I've had have had a little bit more grassy flavour to it. That's held on for about up until this stage. There's a bit, but this is all I've got. So um, yeah, I'll come back to you later, and I'll let you know if this is 
improved any others so far. Uh, nah, just a big hype. <laughs> Much last stage really burns a bit wonky again. That's just good. But apart from that, there's nothing going on. I don't know what people are getting so excited with these races because, like I said, I've been going through the year. This sample is from, if I'm not wrong, it's from December 2020. Shout out to GD for dropping me those. And um, what I'm having is Earth. Lovely output, creamy plethora of smoke, generic earth, bit all spice. Nah, no re no black peppers or anything. No peppers, no paprika, no sweet cake, no Madeira cake, no butter cake. Earth, and a bit more of an all spice. So a generic, very slight dash of leather. That um, horrible sort of bittery taste I was on my tongue earlier, that's gone now. But um, yeah, just disappointing to be honest. I mean, it looks great. I just don't get these. I don't get the hype with these Reyes's. I really don't. I don't see what the fuss is. Um, I mean, if I was to score this, burn, I just kind of think it up now. So I'd say five construction. It is a bit tight though, I won't lie, but just say five. Um, flavor profile complexity. Three to three point five. That's what ten for in off. Transition. Uh, two and a half. So it's what say sixteen. Um, finish. 3.8 to 4 and it's perfectly where I'll put it I'll put this in the 19s to low 20 good it's a it's the good part of an okay cigar yeah um but it's nothing special because it's just because of that creamy plethora of smoke and that earlier finish from the first cold pass it gives it a higher score from the finish but apart from that it's, just, it's dead boring I mean the output and stuff Burn ash and the output and that first part, 100%. The, the lower conditions definitely has got to do with that, 100%. I'm not even going to put it down to a rest in more resting time. I mean, it has been a couple months since I last had this. I last had one. Um, yeah, it's been at least a couple months. But there's nothing more going on with them. It's just boring. It's so boring. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to end up for the Reyes. And... Uh, You'll see me back on when we light the shorts up and uh, I'll show you exactly what the shorts has got to offer. So we're going to flame up the short. Next we have the Trinidad shorts, which is a three and one quarter inch by 26 ring gauge short cigar. Now this, as you can see, is already pre-cut. So it comes machine made, it already is pre-cut, and then it is wrapped up in cellophane. This, I believe, if I'm not wrong, is meant to be short filler, although it's supposed to be premium filler from the Water Habajo region. And Seagars retail this uh, 28 release cigar by single at £2.75, which is £3.71. Or £26.59 for the cargo box of 10, which works out rounded up to 36 bucks. Oh. 
brassy. It's got a very, it's got this Cuban grassy twang, Trinidad flavor, a bit of biscuit mix in there, vanilla. that output. Amazing first pass. That grassy Cuban twang is what you should be getting in the race. And I never get I get it for like one puff, two puffs at the beginning and that is it. Um, usually when I get the shorts it goes at least up until about midway and it changes. Lovely. That sweet biscuit shortbread. It's got more, but that biscuit, it, it's got to be the conditions, you know, because, yes, yeah, so of course, rest and all that as well, but it's got to be the cooler conditions brings out that flavor because that, that hasn't ever really come like that before in either of them. Um, so, wow. Well, Good start, very good start. Um, yeah, come back a little bit more sort of midway because normally these change from midway, and then I'll let you know how we get on. <laughs> This is just so much more entertaining. Get a little band off. Whoosh. Easier than the rest. <laughs> um, peppery, ground white pepper. Brown black pepper, ever so slight dash of cayenne, earthy with allspice, a bit of generic earth. Because before I came on the camera, it was still giving that nice grassy Cuban Trinidad twang, not as much butter cake, and that sort of Madeira cakey sort of uh, creamy taste. It was just more of that grassy Cuban Trinidad twang which is what I was saying to you that the race had for like two puffs and it disappeared I told you, you just like disappeared well pretty much more than halfway through this and we still oh it's coming back even more it's coming back it's transitioning Two pounds seventy-five, three dollars seventy-one. The rest, fifteen pound fifty, basically round up twenty-one bucks. I mean, it's not twenty-one bucks; it's about ten bucks, I think, from the states. But I'm just converting how much it is. Yeah, it's about ten, about nine, ten bucks, I think. I might, it might be more than actually. That's probably a bit too cheap. It's probably about around how much is a box. I think a box is around 150 on offer, 200 bucks maybe. I can't quite remember. It's about, it's around those figures anyway. I mean, someone can put it in the comments, but it just reiterates my point. For value for money, 10 pack of these, yes, the UK price is really expensive. 26 pound 60, let's say we round it up, 36 bucks. You get 10 of these, full of flavour, medium to full bodied, could be mild but actually it's quite medium to full bodied. I don't 
fantastic output. Creamy and grassy flavours again coming back in. Peppers are now coming slowly back in as well. This sort of just has its stages of how it output out. Full flavoured. And the rest was just boring. It's just thank God I'm watching Kaepernick. That's you know, it, it went along. This if this was an actual cigar cigar, this would easily be 23s plus. Easily. Easily. No doubt about it. And it just goes to my point of if you're not a fan of the Reyes. 10 of these and you're looking for a short smoke pack of these is the way to go I'm a slow smoker so it takes me forever when I smoke these and the uh, rest but two of these for that one rest I'll do any day of the week and I think I think you guys should really try try this out because um I really just don't get the rest I don't get the hype behind it I don't see what's special about it I've just, I mean, I told you, I've done this test four times now this year, and I've smoked it without doing the test. Um, and it's the first time I've ever done the short last and the Reyes first. I always do the short first and then do the Reyes, and I'm always really disappointed. Um, every result today, again, no difference. The short wins. <laughs> it's just so, it's just so much better value for money for what you get because there's no short filler. It's pre-cut, it's machine made compared to the rest, which is full on, uh, I forgot, uh, triple uh, velada, f I can't remember how they say it in, in uh, Spanish, but you know, full, uh, full leaf, full filler, and um, you know, it's just, doesn't hit the diet, so guys, <laughs> I know it's a little bit of a different one this one but i hope you enjoy that regardless and um my advice is for you that don't feel the, sh the rest is great pick up a box of shorts pick up a box of shorts they do go they do need to be humidified as well so do put them in a, in a humidor just put them in a little tupperware buy some shorts you know or put them with your little short smokes throw a pack in there i actually took this out the, the pack about a month ago out of this little box and I pull it in with all just because I have all my little shorts you know the Cohiba shorts and some Oscar Rose in the separate Tupperware but I actually put all I put this one sample in with the Reyes in the same uh, Cuban singles drawer out of the cellophane just to see if it made any difference and it's just it's better it's so much better um so yeah that's my opinion guys is uh the Trinidad shorts is the way to go so again check us again for this month we have some great 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 smokes lined up and um, please again guys like share subscribe and uh, catch you on the next one viva